Hello world, Calc Programmer one here. Just wanted to do a really quick video about Keyboard Visualizer and OpenRGB and show off a few new things. Uh, so some people have asked how do you install Keyboard Visualizer uh, with OpenRGB. And so if you've already followed the OpenRGB setup tutorial, you should already have OpenRGB installed and set up. So if you do have it already set up, you should be able to go over here to the SDK server tab and then go over here and click the start button. I've already clicked it and uh, then it should say server status online and it'll tell you the server port. Default is 6742. And then you're going to want to download Keyboard Visualizer. Um, you can get the release from the releases tab here. but I recommend using the daily build, the latest uh, master pipeline build, which is automatically built from new, uh, every time a new commit is pushed, uh, GitLab will automatically build it. So you can just click here on pipeline, get the latest one, um, build Windows 64, and then download over here. And actually that popped up on my other screen. So we're just going to open it with, uh, and that will bring up this, and you can extract it to any way you like. It's a 7-zip file, so I have to have 7-zip installed. You can extract this um, to somewhere on your computer and then run keyboardvisualizer.exe. I'm actually already running it, so here it is. Uh, this is the latest build. So what you're going to do is go down here to IP and then you will enter the IP address of your any computers that are running OpenRGB. So if you're running OpenRGB on the same computer as Keyboard Visualizer, you can just put in 127.0.0.1. That's the default thing that's in the IP box. That is localhost. That's the IP address of your computer to your computer. It's always going to be your computer. Um, but if you have other computers also running OpenRGB, uh, you can add their IPs as well. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on how to get that, but basically in your router, uh, you'll have a list of devices and you can get it from your router if you have access to your router's config page. Um, so then it's connected, and so as soon as you connect, it'll show up down here, and all the devices should start reacting to Keyboard Visualizer. So I've set this up with a black background. Uh, if I change that, you can see all of my devices change. So um, when I change this, so I'm going to go with black. Um, foreground mode, rainbow bars inverse, it just gives you a rainbow pattern. Uh, audio device, you want to select the device that is playing your music. So in this case, I'm playing the uh, music through my TV, which is hooked up to external speakers. So uh, it's connected with HDMI. And then you can tweak amplitude until you get a consistent response down here. Um, it that, that varies widely depending on what device you're using. So 600 is about right for my TV at around 50% volume, I think. So I've got a bunch of devices hooked up that I wanted to show, uh, mainly the E1.31. I have, I'm using um, ES Pixel Stick instead of WLED this time. And I've configured a big pixel matrix. This guy over here, it's 30 strips of WS2812B LEDs. Uh, wired together vertically uh, for a 300 LEDs total. So, and then I've also got a new Christmas decoration that I found at Lowe's. This is a spiral Christmas tree, uh, but I noticed that the LED strip it used is WS2812B compatible. That's actually the uh, 24 volt version. So I've cut open the uh, control box, wired it into an ES Pixel Stick module. 
So I have those two devices set up uh, using E1.31. I've also got two uh, AI light light bulbs with a custom build of the Asperna firmware that has E1.31 support. So those are all set up. So let's just go ahead and play some copyright free, copyright strike free music. So that's basically what I just wanted to show real quick. Thanks for watching.